In this video, I'm gonna do this pair of Yeezys in bleach for 24 hours. As you can see, I tried to paint them a while ago, but I did not like the results, so I hope this comes off. Let's see what happens. All right, so we got the bleach and we got the top. Let's get started. So I took the shoes, dipped them in the bleach for a whole day, checked after four hours, 12 hours, and 24 hours. This needs still some decoloration. You see how this is becoming yellow now? I'm just scared that the shoe is gonna become yellow as well. I, I want it to be a little bit more white. Hey, I'm Nathan and welcome to my channel, Project Stuff. I make fashion content around the gaming world, but sometimes I like to mess around the clothes I own. This is my second video on a sneaker, but on this channel, you'll find anything from me building my favorite video game jacket to building a Mauro jacket. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing. Let's get to it. After rinsing and washing, nothing happened. Well, some things happen, but nothing worth showing on this video. Like, it literally looks like cream. I was hyped about this video. I was about to turn some Yeezys into hopefully something cool. And I hope we get a really crisp, white, a little bit yellowed result, and you can see the gray stitching. But it didn't go according to plan, to say the least. All right, so here's what happened. but changes are so small that you can't even see them in camera, really. I mean, if you check it out, this, these are still the light gray color you saw at the start of the video, but just the orange paint just faded a little bit, which I kind of like, actually. Like, I messed with this, but that's okay. I want to do something else with them. They're dry, they smell like, oof, they smell like middle school swimming pool classes with, like, bleach everywhere. After waiting for them to dry, I needed something to do with the shoes. Went to a shopping center in Paris, saw shoes from Maison Margiela, and I remembered that model from Maison Margiela that was very famous. And I was like, you know what? Let's try the splatter look on this toe box. I want to try a little bit to do the same and make this shoe a little bit cooler. Let's give this a try and hopefully we turn those Yeezys into a cooler shoe. I was hyped again. I love to play with paint, got some paint, mixed it up, used deodorant caps for bowls, and got started. Beam, bam, boom, that's what happened. The results were okay. I started editing the video, I was bored of my own video, so I deleted it. Looked at the shoe, looked at the paint, looked at the shoe again, looked at the paint again, and had an idea. So, let's go a bit crazier. As we say in French, foutu pour foutu, which means it's screwed anyway, so might as well. Got my floor set up again, prepared the paint again, replaced the shoe, and got started. A little bit here, a little bit there, and a little more here, and there you go. This is the final result. So here they are, and honestly, the more I look at them, the more I've been wearing them, the more I'm into them. So these are loud shoes. Obviously, there's color everywhere. They're dirty, sort of. They have tons of different splatter pattern. It's not a crazy concept. We've seen it already, but I'm excited to wear it and build some outfits with it. It is a very fun experience, and I would love for you at home to do it. Take a pair at home that you don't necessarily wear. We all have one. Get some paint. Um, if it's thick, just water it down a little bit and start whipping it with just a uh, brush, forks, knife, or even your fingers. And have fun with it. These are awesome and I can't wait to wear them and bring them outside. Uh, I'm super stoked. So if you happen to do one of those at home, please send me a picture or post your Instagram in the comments so I can check it out. But yeah, thank you for watching guys. I'll see you for the next one. Peace.